Intel released their 10th gen Comet Lake CPUs and today I compare their 4 core 8 thread i7, the 10 510U which is in the HP NV360 and I pit it against the i5-9300H. The 10th gen CPU is a 15 watt part. Its short term power is 35 watts. That can uh, boost up to 4.9 GHz on one core. And in theory, 4.3 GHz on all four cores. But in reality, in multi threaded loads, it will drop down to 2.3 GHz, which is still above its base of 1.8. Now, using throttle stop, I was able to get a little bit out of it, squeeze it up to 2.5 GHz, but it didn't make much difference. Now, for the 9300H, I used the Acer Nitro 5 17 inch. It has a short term power of 56 watts and long term power of 45 watts and can hold 4 GHz on all four cores in a combined CPU and GPU workload. First up is Cinebench R15. I test both single core and all four cores. Now this is a short test and doesn't stress the CPU all that much. So consequently in the next test I will do Cinebench R20. So here in Cinebench R15, the 9300H did pip the Comet Lake CPU by about 10%, 705 points versus 641. But in single core performance, the actual the, uh, the Comet Lake CPU did sneak ahead with an extra 5%. But of course, this is a short test and it doesn't really allow it time to throttle down. Now onto Cinebench R20, a much longer running test, tested again single core and multi core. With this being a longer test, the Comet Lake CPU does throttle down to 2.3 GHz in a multi-threaded uh, benchmark and consequently it is 49% behind the i5-9300H and even in single core performance it is 15% behind. Now on to 7-zip that measures the speed of compressions and decompression in a rating called MIPS which is million instructions per second and as you can see it is taxing all the cores at 100%. For sure, the 9300H was faster than the Comet Lake CPU, but you know, it wasn't by a huge margin, 7%, so quite a good performance, I think. Now, a common use case would be video rendering, and indeed, the Adobe Premiere Pro is very popular. Granted, you'll generally be using a GPU to render this, but in this case, I'm using the CPU, a software render, and I'm using the codec H265, and I measure the time taken. So in this 1080p software render, the 9300H completed the task in 32 minutes, 22 seconds versus the uh, 10510U in 48 minutes, 13 seconds. So that's a 33% uh, advantage to the 9300H. That's quite huge. But if you have a laptop with uh, hardware encoding, such as having the MX250 like I have in this HP Envy, that would be the way to go and that would save you a bunch of time. The Corona 1.3 benchmark measures the time taken to render an image and it is multi-threaded. So it's a good test for CPU performance. So in Corona 1.3, the 9300H completed it in 4 minutes 19 seconds versus 6 minutes 31 seconds for the i7-10510U. We're starting to see a pattern here as that's a 34% improvement for the 9300H. Now my final test is Blender 2.8. Another rendering test, you can either choose to use the CPU or the GPU. And of course, in this case, I'm testing the CPU and it measures the time taken to render the image. So the pattern continues here. You've got the 9300H completing it in 1 minute 59 seconds and the uh, i7-10510U in 3 minutes 2 seconds. And that's a 35% improvement for the 9300H. And here is a summation of the results, the 9300H relative to the i7-10510U. And if you're running a lot of multi-threaded applications that take a long time, then, you know, certainly the 9300H, the extra power there does help out. You're looking at an average of 38% extra performance boost. But, you know, if you're running, perhaps your tests are shorter, the difference won't be as much. And also, you know, if it's single-threaded, short run test, you'll be fine too. So to conclude, I think the uh, i7-10-510U is in a strange position because really I think the i5-10-210U uh, uh, will suffice just as well uh, because of it throttling down. Now my recommendation uh, would be the 6-core i7-10-710U. At least you get an extra 50% more cores and that will compensate for the, the lack of uh, frequency. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. 
Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.